Okay. <clears throat> All right, and we're live, pal. So, hey guys, Andy here, welcoming you to a new episode of Andy Talks Navy. And today's episode is live. Uh, so, if you're watching the uh, the post stream, hi, Andy here. And uh, you know, this the reason I'm doing this live is kind of a long story, but to make it short, I just don't have uh, time to sit down and edit a video talking about my thoughts of the situation I just figured I'd just do it live and then you guys can uh, can watch it from there but I'll try to make it quick famous last words <laughs> for anybody who's watching my live streams but anyway today on Andy Talks Navy we're going to be talking about Kyle Gott finally becoming a veteran and this has been a long time coming actually he's been really promoting his getting out of the Air Force for a while now now for those who don't know who Kyle Gott is He's basically like the JT suits of the Air Force. You know, he's done a lot of videos talking about his experience in the Air Force, t talking about life in the Air Force and things like that. And he's done a lot of good things for the blogging community as well as for just promoting the Air Force and other things as well. Um, and he's just a cool guy. So <laughs> I've been watching watching him for a while now been watching the uh the got love channel as well which is his vlogging channel with his wife mckenna and uh now that he's officially out of the military they're going to be going on a uh like a six month like cross-country journey through like all the states and stuff like that and it's going to be really freaking wild and i can't wait to uh to see it as it unfolds so he's definitely got some plans ahead um he's already got a whole bunch of money saved up He's, you know, got investments and stuff like that as well. So he's, financially, he's pretty well taken care of. So I think, you know, you won't have to worry about that aspect when he gets out. But um, I just wanted to talk about some things because on his last day, there was a big Reddit post in the Air Force subreddit talking about his getting out of the military. And it was really divided, you know. There was a lot of people who saw the good that he did for promoting the Air Force and things like that. And, you know, we're, you know, really stoked with him in getting out of the military, you know, because it's finally, you know, his time and he can do so much more on the outside than he can on the inside, which is true. You know, you have way more options on the outside versus doing it on the inside. And uh, there's also a lot of uh, salty folks who uh, thought he was just, you know, taking the easy way out instead of making changes from within. And for me, I'm definitely on the, uh, you know, the first group, the one that uh, he can do a lot better on the outside, which is, you know, it's true. You know, he, like I said, he's already pretty much financially taken care of thanks to his uh, smart savings and all that kind of stuff and, you know, YouTube money and things like that and investments and, you know, all this other stuff. So he's, financially, he's taken care of, so he'll be fine. Uh, but, you know, my thoughts on him getting out, you know, obviously, welcome to Civ Div, Kyle, if you happen to be watching this, I don't know, but, uh, definitely welcome you with open arms, and I think you're gonna do a lot of good as a veteran versus active duty, you know, first off, you have a lot more freedom to talk about things on YouTube that you didn't when you were active duty. I know when I was active duty making YouTube videos, I always had to worry about, presenting myself in the best possible light and I couldn't do anything even remotely negative or controversial or anything like that. You know, I had to just make nice videos all the time or just kind of neutral at least. Um, especially talking about the Navy, like, oof, <laughs> you know, when you're active duty, you have a lot more restriction on you and, you know, basically just don't want to shit where you eat. But uh, if you don't eat there anymore, <laughs> you know, but, you know, I'm, I'm just glad that he's out and, you know, him and McKenna are going to be doing a six-month cross-country tour of America. And I'm not sure if they're just going to keep it at America, if they're going to go abroad. I'm not sure uh, on their plans for that. But, you know, it's pretty ambitious and I'm looking forward to seeing how that unfolds on the Got Love channel. And uh, definitely looking forward to future videos from Kyle and McKenna on, you know, the various adventures now outside of the military. 
and I think it's going to be a good thing, you know. Um, I definitely maintain that I think I made way better Navy videos on the outside than I ever did on the inside, you know. And I think that, you know, I always wanted to to help people in, give, in giving out information on, well, in my case, the Navy. In Kyle's case, it was uh, Air Force. But, uh, you know, the same sort of intention was there in that we wanted to give out information that we've learned through experience instead of just, you know, reading a pamphlet from a recruiter saying how the Navy or the Air Force or just the military in general is the best thing in the world, you know, it does have its, its positives, but it does also have its negatives. And, you know, I think that more and more veterans doing YouTube videos, talking about their experiences is definitely going to help things. And also think that active duty members can help out as well, you know, because it'll shine light on what the military is like now, because the military is always changing, you know, like it's changed a lot even since I got out like three years ago, you know, boot camp is a whole nother friggin' beast onto itself. Um, if you watch the, uh, the making a sailor documentary, you know, that's testament to that, you know, there's a lot of things that are similar or the same thing that we did when I went through back in 2010, but there's also a lot that's changed and, you know, the attitude given has changed as well. Now, granted, could be a little Hollywood eyes because of all the cameras and stuff there, but, you know, the general gist is there. And, uh, you know, I think that having more and more active duty uh, vloggers as well as veterans can help, you know, give out information that's needed to help out people who are thinking about joining or even thinking about getting out. Because, I mean, that's how I found JT Suits in the first place, you know, was I was getting out and uh, I wasn't really learning a lot in TAPS class, which is my transferring class. And, uh, you know, because they were mostly talking about, you know, how to build a resume, how to do a job interview and things like that. And I'm like, I just want to go back to school. When are we going to get to the school? And it was like, you know, maybe a couple minutes, if that at the very last day, you know, they made us spend like a whole week, you know, just learning how to write resumes and conduct yourself and how to translate military jargon into civilian ease. And don't get me wrong, those things are important, especially for the retirees who are you know, going to be looking for a job right after, you know, because they have a larger overhead than we do. Um, but I still think they should have talked a lot more about education benefits other than, well, just go to the friggin' website and e-benefits and sign up for it. You know, I think there should have been a lot more information given out. And looking back on my uh, college experience with the GI Bill, I definitely agree. And, uh, yeah. But uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. I don't want to take up too much of your time because then I'll get into rambly rant mode. And uh, <laughs> I really don't have time for that today. But, uh, yeah. Once again, congratulations, Kyle. If you happen to be watching this video, welcome to CivDiv. We're happy to have you. And uh, good luck on your six-month expedition around America. And, you know, maybe going abroad. I don't know. But uh, congrats on everything, Kyle. And uh, with that said, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now here at... Well, I guess this isn't technically Andy Talks Navy HQ. This is my car. <laughs> the mobile location of Andy Talks Navy HQ, I guess. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to this live stream. Um, I'm going to be putting out some more military videos in the near future. Uh, a lot of big changes on the horizon for me on a personal level. So you'll have to go to my personal channel, The Andy Son, A Life in Video, for more details on that. But uh, yeah, man, more things to come. And with that said, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.